River State now. We'll talk about politics where the Assembly has accused Governor Fubara, yes. you know, of not sticking to, you know, the agreement they signed earlier. And a lot of people are mm -hmm. saying that you some wiki is at it again, that you have a kind of hold on the Assembly member, and this is you some wiki again complaining against Governor Superbara threatening to resume impeachment proceedings. Okay. What is this perpetual problem between you and Governor Similai Fubara? Just like uh, I know when your life fair this in, you know, I have decided not to bother myself in politics, rather concentrate on the assignment given to me by Mr. President. And that I've been doing. I didn't even go for Easter. I stayed back here because of the heavy workload I have in my hand. But now you have asked me, why do you people believe I have a hold on the assembly people? Because they were your boys. They are my boys. Yeah. Who has done my boy that's elected? The governor to his own. My boy. Uh, so, but I don't have a hold on him. Yes. I have a hold on the, on the assembly people. Yes. <laughs> you know, the problem people don't understand is that I was in the other day. I saw a political conference made by transitional politicians, political vampires, political buccaneers. Not elder statesmen. Who, what makes them elder statesmen? Do you know who's called an elder statesman? An elder statesman is a man who must have integrity. Who must not be here today, here tomorrow. But I thought that's politics. No, that's not politics. That lack of integrity. Why am I not like that? If somebody does but, not agree with you. Not agree with me. Listen, listen, listen. Not agree with me. So what they call integrity. Let me tell you what's called integrity. Take for example, if you allow me to analyze one by one, let me just tell you. In 2007, when I came on board, after the Supreme Court judgment in October 25th or 26th, 2007, Uche Secundus, Abia Sekibo, Osnopra, Lee Meba, Salas Nomea, we threw him out, that 26th, we threw out Salas Nomea. And the Supreme Court, of course, said he was never a governor in the eyes of the law. After that judgment, at, and for that time, Secundus was the state chairman of PDP Rivers. After that judgment, he came to us, Hilton, and cried that he's the only son of the mother. That look. We should not allow him go that way. When Selection lost Supreme Court. It's okay. But you are the chairman of PDP. We went. Selection has sworn in council chairman. Now we went to court. This was uh, second news. Who was the state chairman when Omeha was made the governor. candidate and temporary governor then? You know what he did? He came to court to testify that those council chairmen, he did not submit their name to research. This is the man who was with Omeha. Simply because the judgment is not against the mayor, there's no local governor. He ran down to us. They are majestic. And testified for us in court. And that was our court notified. All the council chairmen then notified their seats. Is that a matter of integrity? It's not whether you agree with me or not. I'm just telling you now. That is why. But you supported him to higher positions in the PDP. Hold on, I'm coming PDP now. Chairman. Look, look, you see, that is my problem. 
you ask question, I want to give you background when it says testament. What makes them uh, that testament? Is it because you have 70 years? Is it because you have had a seat before, a position before? You can be a governor but without integrity, I have no business with you. Yes, okay, take for example. If they are men of integrity, you say, you remember what happened in our last election? These are the people who called me killer because I was trying to force them to support a man who will not live long, who his life has been determined that look, there's no way of wasting their time to support him. I'm trying to force them. Now, you know that Omeha and Abechi are first cousins. You know that when Abechi came on board, he was the one who removed Omeha's picture, that he was never governor. I don't know whether you understand that. Do you understand that? No. All of you? No. Do you understand that? No. It was Abechi who removed his picture. And then when I became governor, politically, to give him the seven face. When he agreed with you. No, 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 what, listen now. You don't need to agree with me. I've defeated him all the time. I put his picture there. But do you know what happened in last election? And all of them to team up, to work for Tiku. I made you to reconcile with Omeha by attending Omeha's daughter's wedding at Corpus Christi. All of them teamed up. To support that. Of course, what happened? They couldn't give her to be even ten percent. We flogged them mercilessly. <laughs> now the same people, this you know, as told them, look, the the our elder Chief Fred Alabama, our former chairman, Ambassador Delano Rakawu, and the governor himself, they went to the press house. Please, the governor has emerged as a candidate. Support him. You know what he said? He cannot serve master and serve boy. He cannot do it. Today, you are not only serving boy, you are waiting for him on the road now. Is that integrity? I mean, what is people have, if, if we have children, they won't say, Daddy, what kind of life is this? You mean this can happen just now? And then that's what you call politics. The same people now who said this governor was a new fight, not just my boy, was a new fight. How can they bring themselves down to go and support him? They wrote a petition. When this government was to go and collect his certificate in PDP. So they carried the rumor to are you the then chairman that the chairman that the governor is being looked for by EFCC. And so they say he was not coming to PDP Secretariat National. But they were surprised the governor came and picked his uh, well, I know the, the antics. They wrote to the EFCC. And before they knew that the judgment against the FCC, because I know how they behave. They did that to Amechi. When they gave Amechi ticket, Sletoli Neiba came out and owned up that yes, they were the ones who wrote a petition to EFCC when uh, Nehru Badi was there. But do you know what happened? When Amechi became governor, the same Lee was the one who came to us and said, look, he was sorry for this and this and that, just to be relevant. Now, these same people now could come out on television telling Nigerians to support the Renewed Hope agenda. Is it not the Renewed Hope agenda that you are killing me? So, you know, you know, know I saw earlier than you. 
It's all of you to admit. You now say, oh, you are, you are, you are supporting uh, Fumara. For, you are supporting Fumara for what? Is there any election? Do you want him to appoint you into this cabinet? So that you will impeach him. Mm -hmm. What is impeachment? I'm not a legislator. All these so-called leaders, if you are supporting Fumara, as you claim, what is the support? He's having a problem with the legislature. You, go and bring your assembly member. I'm a leader in my local government. You, go and bring your assembly. You, go and bring your assembly. You, go and bring the assembly. To show support, right? You're not a leader by mouth. You're not, you see, people just, I am here now. I can call my assembly member, my own assembly member. I said, look, this is not the way we should do things. This is the way. He or she will respect me. That shows leadership. Is that what people wanted mm. to show in mm. this case? Mm. That truly, if you want to save uh, Governor Fubara from mm. the constant hackings mm. yes. coming from the yeah. House of Assembly, yes. that you are in a position to do it because yes. you more or less single handedly put those guys I'm putting uh, that too. at him too. Uh, so, what's the so if he has problem with them, okay. you are the door linking the, the two what guys. What is the problem now? Has he come to tell me that there's a problem? He wants to be on his own with the, 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 these uh, political uh, vampires who are always sucking. My pity for them. They just want to take over these small boys, you know, they are these young boys. Who thought that, oh, they have a space now to make sure to, they get something from uh, Fumara. Now these people can't withstand hunger since I kicked them out. So they now want to take over those boys' uh, role to continue to suck for First of all, second is it's not a member of our party. Maybe he does not understand that. He's not he, a member of PDP. He's not a member. Now people don't understand this. I am going to take it off very soon. How is he not a member? How? He was suspended from the party. The court validated it. He went to a uh, court of appeal. He lost. He appealed to the Supreme Court. March for Supreme Court dismissed his matter.